What's up, guys? This is UFC prediction of Evo versus Anton. So, before I get into my prediction in full details, why I'm choosing Anton to win, I'm going to do a small recap on UFC Rivas versus Rose. It was a pretty good success, won good money, got my, most of my underdogs right. I got, you know, uh, man, Julian. That made me feel really good. I'm glad I predicted him not getting knocked out. Redeem himself. Great job, Zalal. Same thing. Great job for him. I knew he was going to win. Like, Billy's good, but he's just way too predictable. And, you know, Zalal has st been stepping up his game since his last win. So I knew that was going to happen. Um, Justin Taffa and um, Carl Williams. I did say in my last video I was going to put them on separate tickets. And I did exactly what I did. I put Carl Williams for decision. I put Justin Taffa for KO. I knew Williams would only win by decision. There's no way in hell he's going to knock that man out or tap him out. I just knew that was not going to happen. Rose, Amanda, same thing. I just put Rose money line on a parlay ticket. That one hit. The one with Amanda Reboss parlay ticket. That didn't hit, but it didn't matter. Um, Usman, Mick. I admit, I uh, sprinkled a little money on Usman. I thought he was going to win by decision, put a decision ticket. But I wasn't too confident. Uh, but he lost. It is what it is. Miles Johnson, great job uh, beating Cody on short notice. I will not doubt that man again. And, of course, the Lima fight. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I thought Igor won the first round, barely. Maybe by a point. The ground control scared me. He was landing really good strikes, good volume. So was Lima. Uh, I thought Lima landed the cleaner, better strikes. But then again, Igor did throw more activity out there. Oh, uh, man, that was such a good fight. I just cannot believe he pulled off a, a wannabe Mike Tyson, biting people out here. You know what I'm fucked up, guys? This is just a theory. This is just not a fact at all. This you know what fucked up is if Lima had that bite the whole time before the fight and he just was trying to hide it, not show anybody, you know, but then again, that's a one in a million chance that would happen. <laughs> then again, to be fair, like, yes, the camera angles did show, you know, Igor's mouth on Lima's, Lima's arm, but it, it, it was very hard to show if he was biting the arm or not. And you think about it, how the hell can that man bite his arm with his mouthpiece on? <clears throat> That's why I came up with that silly theory that maybe Lima had that bite the whole time before the fight. And he just used that to his advantage in case he was getting fucked up. But <laughs> what are the odds of that happening? <laughs> One out of a million. <laughs> Anyways, alright guys, let me get to my details of why I picked um, <clears throat> Anton to win. Okay, well first of all, he is a better fighter than Ebo. Ebo, yes, he has amazing knockout power. He's a brawler. He's just going to keep getting in your face. Pressure, pressure. His combos are basic. His style is basic. He just uses brute strength until he gasses out. Until he has nothing left with cardio. Can Ebo still possibly win this fight? Absolutely. I still believe Anton will win. And to be fair, I'm going to do, I'm play smart. I'm going to do one ticket with Ebo by knockout. And then just regular, you know, Anton. Um, just money line. And add him on one of my parlays. Um, now, now, Anton has fought the better competition. Sure, he has lost to Petrino, Pedro, and Altimeda. Altimeda? Because he's a fucking beast in wrestling. All he does is wrestle, wrestle, wrestle until he submits you. And then, you know, Pedro. Uh, was it a bad knockout? It was pretty bad. It wasn't really bad. Like, sure. He was, you know, touching him up. He was stunning him, and he knocked him down with one punch. The ref, I thought he stopped it a little bit too quick, because if I'm not mistaken, I don't remember, you know, Pedro landing ground and pound when he was down, but it was good enough to for a knockout. All I'm saying is, uh, he, all I'm saying is Anton didn't go to bed. You know what I'm saying? He was still conscious, and I guarantee you, if Tyson was going to throw some ground and pound. I have a feeling that um, he would have taken some shots and still try to fight back. I, I'm just respecting Anton, saying he would not be completely defense, defenseless. Skill-wise, I think he's on the same skills as Tyson Pedro. He just did, and um, 
I just felt like he didn't have the knockout power. That's just my opinion from what I've seen. Petrino. I thought he did really good in that fight. I thought, sure, Petrino definitely won. But losing with 30-27 each round, if I'm not mistaken, I thought that was insulting. I thought that was bias. At least the first round I can see, yeah, 30-27. But second and third out of respect? Come on, like at least a 29-28 in one round. At least give... I thought, I thought like the last round, if I'm not mistaken, definitely, you know, Anton won the third round. But that's just my opinion. But the judges didn't see it. But, you know, judges fucks up parlays anyways. If, you know, if it gets to that point, especially if it's close, it is what it is. So I'm just, long story short, guys, Anton's fought the better competition. His skills have improved since, you know, he fought Ebo in the past. Ebo has fought, in my opinion, cans from Sparta and number one contender series. These guys, no disrespect to them, they're good fighters, but they're not UFC level. And there's a reason why they're not in the UFC. You know? And I get it. Ebo's working really hard to redeem himself, but from what I've seen with these guys that he's fought, they're not that good. And to me, the fact of the matter is Anton is the better fighter. Plain and simple. I see him, he, I think he's going to pull off a Julian Arosa. He's going to learn his damn lesson from the Pedro fight, protect his damn chin, he's going to stick and move, get inside the pocket when he sees opportunities, and then if um he's just going to weather the storm with, um you know, Ebo, I feel like Ebo is going to pull off a Billy Quarantilo, you know, just try to go for it, blitz, you know, when he can, throw heavy volume, heavy striking, but I feel like Anton's just too much he's gonna be too smart he's gonna be the smarter fighter and land clear shots and then most likely catch him and wrestling and either when like i said points or submissions it's gonna be one of those gonna happen i'm too confident to me like i said guys this is like julian all over again and um like zalal feel that's how i feel he's a great underdog too hi right, guys so anton it is you know Putting him on money line on one of my parlays. And of course, playing on the safe side. Got to put the KO for Ebo. You know, because he has knockout power. Hi guys. If you Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you like my prediction and details. I did put a lot of time into looking more um, about these fighters. I hope you all have a great day. I hope you all hit y'all's bets. And tomorrow I will post a new video with different fighters. Until next time. Peace.